A final effort for the 145 remaining riders of the 2018 Tour before tomorrow's procession into Paris. Like last year, stage 20 is an individual time trial with some tricky sections on the rolling terrain between saint pay sur nivelle and Espelette, two towns welcoming the Tour for the very first time. Yellow jersey Geraint Thomas going into it with two minutes and five seconds over the time trial world champion Tom Dumoulin. Well, the Dutchman won his title in Bergen ahead of Primoz Roglic and Chris Froome, who began the day third and fourth. With only 32 seconds separating the three men overall, it promised to be a fascinating battle for the podium. Lawson Craddock, the last man in the GC, was the first man down the ramp. What a brave ride it's been from the American, who broke his shoulder way back on stage one. The first time of note was set by Michael Hepburn, Australia's time trial champion in 2014. He clocked 42 minutes and 15 seconds. That remained the benchmark for almost two hours, as even specialists like Jonathan Castro Viejo, the Spanish time trial champion, fell short. It was another Spaniard who finally pipped Hepburn, Marc Soler, the winner of Paris-Nice, into the hot seat by just five hundredths of a second. At 11 minutes past four, it was finally time for the top ten to hit the road with Ilnur Zakarin. At this point, Sky's Mikkel Kwiatkowski led Sunweb Soren Craig Anderson by just one second. But the big guns were in no mood to mess around. Froome setting the quickest time at the first checkpoint. He already had 30 seconds on Roglic, who was looking a little bit off the pace after his superb victory yesterday. Dumoulin, meanwhile, was matching the four-time tour winner for pace. While Thomas in the Maillot Jaune looked like a man on a mission. The Welshman surviving a long wheel to go 14 seconds quicker than Froome at the first checkpoint and perhaps on his way to a third stage victory. Elsewhere, a solid effort from Roman Bardet in 22nd. That was enough for him to snatch sixth place overall from an out of sorts Mikel Lander. In the end, it was Dumoulin who took the stage win, the world champion living up to his billing. Thomas Mouinoir was struggling on the steep at Col de Pinodieta, losing about 30 seconds on the top two. Dumoulin snatching victory by just one second from Froome. Well, this was a superb effort from Dumoulin, the Dutchman, not only taking the stage victory, but defending his second place overall. The 27-year-old is now up to nine Grand Tour wins, six of them coming in time trials. It's his third on the Tour de France after a double in 2016. And after finishing second to a Skyrider at the Giro for him, he'll finish second to a different Skyrider, Thomas, at the Tour. Oh, that's crazy. I didn't know anything about split times or I, I never know. And I still thought Froome was one second ahead of me uh, when I crossed the line here and everybody said, uh, you're second with one sec. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> wow. Dumoulin beating Froome by the narrowest of margins with Thomas in third place. Two men from Sunweb and three from Sky in the top five. Roglic down in eighth place and just missing out on the final podium. So Geraint Thomas pulls on the yellow jersey for a tenth consecutive day and this one will no doubt mean more than the rest. He'll be the first Welshman to stand on top of the podium in Paris tomorrow. The gap in the end, 151 to Dumoulin. The 21st and final stage of the 2018 Tour de France will be largely ceremonial, as is the tradition. 116 kilometers to cover between Huy and Paris, with perhaps a cheeky glass of champagne along the way. The riders will head along Avenue Montaigne for the first time before the highly anticipated sprint finish at the Champs-Élysées, which has hosted the end of the Tour since 1975. It'll then be time to celebrate the winners, so do join us again on Sunday, and thanks for watching.